Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you are prepared because this will be the second video of the day after the morning video where we spoke about the news, we spoke also about some Mercato names like Paul Labil Pogba that was on the front page of Tutto Sport. Now we will have to speak about Gianluca Scamacca, the Italian 22 years old boy that was on the front page of Gazzetta dello Sport this morning. We briefly spoke about him. The news was actually that Juventus was already starting to think to propose 35 million euro for the player. You know my opinion? At the moment, I am not 100% convinced about Scamacca, especially not for the price, 35, 40 million. It's a lot of money. But you know that one thing I really love to do is read your comments. I love to take my time and read your comments, even if I don't even always answer. There was one comment that took my attention. It took my attention because it was saying, Beppe, pay attention. Pay attention, Beppe. Because you remember... One year and a half ago, you were not that positive about Federico Chiesa joining Juve. You were not convinced, you thought that it would be a flop. Look at what Federico Chiesa did, he proved you wrong. Let's be clear, I love to be wrong, especially when I have a negative judgment about some players and they are able, thanks to their performance, to do well because then I fall in love and I buy their, I buy their shirts. I love that. But is that the case of Gianluca Scamacca? And that's why in that video, after that beautiful intro, I want want to go into the details. I hope, guys, before starting that you put a maximum of like. I hope that you subscribe. Nearly the end of the year, can we reach 15,700, 800, 900, maybe 16,000 followers? I don't know, guys. Uh, this is all depending on you. We start with Scamacca. Who is Gianluca Scamacca? I already told you. Italian guy from 22 years old, a young guy. Sir, some of you will probably say Beppe, 22 years old is not young anymore. Guys, I am 40, 22 is young. I can tell you that. Believe my experience, when I am 40, 22 is really young. He's 22, is a 1 meter and 95 centimeter. And I can guarantee you that as well, 1 meter 95 is really tall. I will not reveal how big I am. It's not 2 meters, guy. He has done the shirt number 91 at Sassuolo. He's a forward, he's a striker, he's really playing as a striker and he's a right-footed player. This is who Skamaka is with some basic uh, skills. But then if we go a bit more in details, if we look at Sofa score, we see that he's a real striker, a 76 rated on striker. He has a big technique or at least bigger than some of our players with a 64. He's lacking in creativity, in tactic and in defensive skills. Makes sense? He's a striker. This this is Gianluca Scamacca. Uh, it's a player that if we are looking to the heat maps, he's really into the box. And this is probably something that Juventus is missing today. Why are we looking for a new striker? Obviously, because the one that we have, they are not always scoring. They are not scoring that much. We have 27 goals in Serie A after 19 days. Our expected goals with the chance created are much higher. Juventus needs to score. We need a striker that is able to take that ball and put it in the goal so that Juventus can have more points and finish in that top four. Is Kamaka that player we see in the heat map that one great skill skills that he has is into the box it's a central player he's not going to the left like Morata he's not going to the right like Dybala no he's going there and he's waiting for the ball able to score but he's also tracking back to take the ball because Kamaka is a player that is taking his chance from wherever in the field if he has to score from inside the box he will do it if he's able to do it and take his chance from outside of the box he will do it as well. He scored this time, this year in Serie A, six goals in 21-22, six goals, four from inside of the box, two from outside of the box. And that's not bad for Gianluca Scamacca, able to score from whatever position. A big player that could bring something to Juventus. And here we spoke about all the benefits of Scamacca. Then you will tell me, Beppe, if you are telling me all the great benefits of a Scamacca, why are you not convinced? <laughs> and the problem is still there because Scamacca scored only six goals and that's not a lot. We look at the percentage of goals, so 
the goal conversion, he has a 15% conversion of goal. Dusan Vlaovic, and we are comparing with someone that is totally different, he has a conversion of 24%. And if you want to go even more higher with uh, Erling Braut Holland, he has a conversion of 29%. So 29% of the times that he's going to go for an attempt to goal, he scores. That's a lot. 15% for Skamaka. And then our players that are doing so bad, so wrong, 14% Morata, we are there, we are there. 21% for Moisken, Moisken that didn't score that much, but he didn't play also that much. So the conversion rate is more or less there, even a lot lower than Moisken. Uh, Skamaka played actually two seasons in Serie A, and that's another problem that I am thinking about. He's probably not ready yet to be the starter at Juventus. Two seasons is not a lot. Not even two seasons because he played last year with Genoa where he was able to score in an entire season eight goals. This season is doing a bit better in projection because he has already six but he's not even a starter at Sassuolo because he played only 53% of the time at his disposal. Uh, then you tell me Beppe but Chiesa you remember Chiesa we told you that he would be a fantastic player. You didn't believe in him he was also coming from a smaller team like Fiorentina and look what he's doing at Juve and probably you're right but there is a big difference Chiesa already played four seasons with Fiorentina and he was a big starter he scored a lot of goals in his time at Fiorentina before joining Juve 34 times already in Serie A and that's a really a lot before joining a big club as Juve it's not the same numbers as Kamaka he had a lot of experience because he played already 153 games with Fiorentina for a total of nearly 12,000 minutes. So we can't compare the experience, the bagage that Federico Chiesa had before joining Juve, which we can't say the same about Gianluca Scamacca. And then you tell me, yeah, Beppe, but uh, what you are saying is not totally correct because look at the player like Vlaovic. Vlaovic didn't have four seasons with uh, Fiorentina like Federico Chiesa so the experience not always that important yes correct but there is a big difference between Vlaovic and Scamacca Vlaovic is the starter from F F Fiorentina he already scored 47 times he already played 107 games and here we have a big big difference with the 49 games of Scamacca he played double as much as our player with his 1.5 uh, uh, seasons in Serie A so there, these are the big differences and then I will tell you a reason again why Skamaka uh, why not Vlaovic why Skamaka I will try to explain to you with easy words and it's here financially because I was reading online a lot of comments uh, for people that were saying Beppe you know if we have to pay 40 million for Skamaka why don't we put 20 or 30 million more for a player like Vlaovic and we are happy and it's not that big the difference between 40 and 60 40 and 70 million but then you are sure that you have a Dusan Vlaovic that is at the peak of his career banging goals guys financially it's not totally true it's not only 20 or 30 million more I will explain you quite easily if you go with a Scamacca you pay 40 million euro these are the requests of Sassuolo these 40 million euro you're adding a 1.5 million salary that is much higher than what is actually earning you give a four-year contract you know that we are paying actually the gross salary as a team so 1.5 becomes 3 million that the club is paying 3 million times 4 years it's 12 million these 12 millions you add them on the value 40 million you arrive in a total sum for Gianluca Scamacca of 52 million euro let's say 60 million euro for Scamacca in a total package before extending on renewal and then you go to Vlaovic Vlaovic 70 million guys you give him 8 million euro salary a season because this is what his agent is asking 8 times 2 for the gross salary is 15 million, 15 million times four years, you have 60 million salary that Juventus has to pay to Vlaovic in four years. 60 million plus the 70 of his value, you arrive at 130 million plus the bonuses for the agent because the agent is asking money. You arrive there at 140 million, 140 for Vlaovic. Remember, max 60 for Skamaka. Eh, and here we arrive at a difference of 80 million euro. And 80 million euro, guys, 
that's a lot. That being said, we spoke about the good things about Skamaka, where I am not totally convinced of points of Skamaka. We spoke about the finance, where it's for sure in a strategy of saving a bit of costs for Juventus, it's better to have a Skamaka than a Vlaovic, because Vlaovic start to be really difficult. Guys, I don't know. Today, I'm still not 100% convinced that Skamaka is the player for Juventus, especially not in January. Do he, does he want to come as a fourth striker? Why not? But is he the one that will replace Moisken and Morata from January? In my opinion, no. In my opinion, no. And that was my answer to the comment that said Beppe maybe can become the next Chiesa. If he arrives at Juve, that's what I hope. But at the moment, it's not what I believe. Grazie for following the channel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Grazie, forza. Juve.